Hey guys, Preston Handles 89 back again with a reaction video today. This time I'll be reacting to Stone Cold on if he regrets starting the watch chance or not. Incredibly controversial. A lot of people hate the watch chance. Do I think he regrets it? Probably not, since it gained him a lot of success and earned him a lot of money through t shirt sales and stuff. But let's hear from the man himself anyway. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Hey Steve, hey Steve, here's my question. Hopefully it hadn't already been answered previously. I've always been curious of your thoughts on the what's from the crowd and the long-term effect it has had on promos Good to question. this day. Do you regret it? Teddy, I've been hitting the head with so many damn steel chairs, I can't even remember if I've answered this question or not. I'm <laughs> sure I've addressed it in some capacity. But anyway, hey, man, when I first did that what, you remember when I used to do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't remember, you know, I had no idea that it would last as long as it did. It's been over 10 years since I've yeah, raced a 20 by 20 squared circle out there for the WWE. So the fact that it's still around uh, is a testament to the staying power of it. it really but the is. thing about it, Teddy, is if, you know, when a person's cutting a promo and the crowd starts going, what, what? What every time they take a break, the way to avoid that is don't give them that break. Definitely. You just got to speed your cadence up. Uh, yeah. Do I regret it? No, hell no, I don't I regret it. it. People had so much fun doing that back in the day. Oh, yeah. And you know what? We put the word what in the question mark on the front of a t shirt and sold a buttload of t shirts. So it was highly shirt. effective for me. I don't regret it. And if anything, you know, the, the talent can still use that to, to work for them. Nah, I didn't, nah. And if you don't want that crowd to what? Just simply speed up your cadence. That you don't agree with. Teddy, you still watch Monday Night Raw. Yes. When you watch someone out there cutting a promo and then you hear the what's chime in, what do you think? Do you think it's ruining the promo? Does it bother you? Do you laugh? Do you chuckle? Do you mm -hmm. cry? Nice. No, I laugh. I mean, I, I think it shows the weak point in the promo being cut by whatever wrestler. Their, their inability to get around that. Like you were saying, speed up. Don't give them an opportunity to start it's shouting what. Like because if you just mistake. keep that rapid talk right. and don't give them the opportunity, eventually, you know, enthusiasm is going to wane and they're not going to do it anymore. And they'll yeah, shut and up and listen to you. Yeah, that you're not giving them that spot to put it in. Yeah, either yeah, that you or build your promo it. around that. Kind of anticipate yeah. them to do it. But most of those guys, they give you that deer in the headlight look yeah. when, you know, the audience starts it's chanting that, and that. Then they fall apart. Yeah, and, man, and sometimes you, know. you got some memorization going there, and you get a deer in the headlights type look. I'm not running down any talent, neither is Teddy. No, but it's just you know simple observation, uh, kind of what I pick up. And and Teddy's just a lifelong wrestling fan. He ain't been in the See? squared circle. And uh, we ain't out, out here having wrestling matches or cutting promos on each other. So, yeah, pretty much what I expected. He doesn't regret it because he earned a buttload of money from it. And it made him more popular back at the time. And it must be cool on some level to know that some of you created still persists to this day. I know some fans can be really toxic with it and just got other ways to ruin people's promos for no reason. And especially, like, foreign heels, or sometimes just foreign wrestlers in general who struggle with speaking English, they get really bad, which I can't agree with that at all, but also I do agree with Austin, though, that a lot of times it's almost deliberate that wrestlers always seem to leave the balls on purpose to get the watch out, which I don't know why on earth they want that, but... If they do what Austin says and speed up, or just don't pull so much... The fans eventually get bored and change, so I do agree 100% with Austin on that one. But yeah, it was still interesting to hear Austin's full. It's kind of what I expected, but still good to have it confirmed. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell if you haven't already. I'll be uploading more videos like this in the near future. This is Wrestling Rebels 89, signing off.